Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. So today we are going to discuss about generative AI roadmap for students, freshers, and experience in IT domain. Okay, and then who in IT can learn Gen AI. So these two is what we are going to discuss in this video. I also made a video for roadmap in Gen AI for non-IT people also. So that video link is also there in the description box of this video, and my complete Gen AI playlist link is also there in the description box of this video. You can have a look. And next video. So this is also I highly recommend you to watch. Next video is uh, future Gen AI roles in IT. In the next three to five years, there will be a lot of new roles that will be get created like we have software engineer tester uh, dba data engineer data analyst like right? similar to that uh, unique roles will be get created in generative ai itself so we need to know th those roles and uh, it's not just IT, IT people should get into that roles. Even non-IT people can get into that roles. And Gen AI market capital. Okay. So every year the investment on top of this generative AI is rising like anything. So we need to know that. And why we need to know that? Because you should need to understand the importance of Gen AI and the investments. And not only that, and some people used to ask me about my job is not safe because of AI. I'm a software developer, but chat GPT can generate a code. How good, how safe my job is, right? When you have such questions, so that doubts the or the confusions will be get cleared when i explain this market capital i'll explain those stuff in this video so i'll highly recommend you to watch the next video fine so let's get into the roadmap gen a roadmap for students and freshers and experience in it domain stage one foundation week one to two it's not like even you can complete it in three days is completely fine for me but i'm just putting it like just with with durations okay goal understand the basics of ai and gen ai so very first thing what is ai versus gen ai right so ai is an artificial intelligence it's a market under which we will have machine learning under which we will have deep learning and under which we have this generative ai so generative ai is a subset of artificial intelligence i can call it as a generative AI as a product under artificial intelligence so i'll tell you what is generating generative ai and all later but then people used to ask me this do i need to learn ai or ml concepts before i get into generative ai okay with respect to learning generative ai if you ask me this question then you no need to know any of the basic concepts or core ideas of what is artificial intelligence just to learn generative ai so if you are really interested to learn artificial intelligence even before learning generative ai then that is completely fine you can go ahead and you can learn right so here now we are in an era where we have this generative AI as a product which with the help of that people are building already built a lot of models and people started using that models to build the products right even school kids are doing it right and that means nobody go back to AI and learn just mathematics or algorithms or machine learning or deep learning or data science no nothing is like that but the core concepts the basic of data uh, sorry this generative AI are all available inside of generative AI itself that means just to learn the basics of generative AI, you don't want to get out of this generative AI. It's all there within generative AI itself because people always used to debate this with me, right? So I just wanted to recommend you one podcast which I had had with Srikant Bhaktan. He's uh, one of the uh, AI data architect in uh, Microsoft. You can check his LinkedIn profile in this video. I have, I'm giving this video link also in the description box of this video. One question I asked him, so to before learning AI, do I need to learn machine learning or deep learning or mathematics? And for that, he answered. See, if you really want to learn AI, and that is completely fine. But what he told me, right, I recommend. So what he said is, I recommend you to learn Gen AI even before getting into what is AI, right? So imagine now you are coming and asking me, Gautam, I want to learn Python. Do I need to like suggest me some coding language? And I'm saying like, don't learn coding like Python or Java. Instead, try to learn how to create a programming language. When I say this, what you will say, Gautam, what is this Gautam? You are asking me to learn how to create a programming language, but there are already so many programming languages available, right? And I can use that and I can build applications. Why are you suggesting me like this, right? Same thing. That's what here Srikanth is coming to say. So don't try to learn or spend much time on learning AI core concepts, mathematics or something, uh, those parts. But, but thing is, yes, if you want to really learn to build products like chat GPT or neural networks or Gemini kind of stuff, yeah, you can. But the thing is, what his point of view is, if you are in a phase where you just want to make use of generative AI and existing models from the generative AI, with the help of that, you want to build a product, means you don't want to go back to AI and learn all those AI steps or core concepts right so for generative ai whatever required the basics or core concepts are even available within generative ai itself 
okay that's what i'm coming to say and uh, if you really not aligned with this right and people you are not satisfied with what i'm saying down the line you will understand this in 2 to 3 years you will understand what i'm coming to say right fine so it's all like my recommendation but still no gautam i want to learn aiml deep learning yes it's up to you maybe you you are in a plan of building a new model yeah then you can go for it right so i'm just going to make use of the existing model and the product means then you don't want to get into this ai stuff guys that's what i'm coming to say fine so then you need to understand the difference and then famous gen ai tools you have to use like gemini chat gpt mid journey dali github copilot for coding and even chat gpt can code right and try uh, types of content gen ai creates the name itself has generative ai the ai generates something what is that something text audio video image and code right stage 2 learn basic technical skills and you need to know python programming because most of the ai tools uh, to connecting them or to integrating them it all happens in python right so like variable loops functions and libraries and try to learn some of the front end libraries also to make uis or even you can go and learn javascript also it's all like minimal coding like not the core part because you are going to use existing models which is available so model uh, in the world of generative ai right model means uh, like it's a mo model is something like a brain for artificial intelligence okay like how human brain we do have the human brain with the help of the brain you create lot of imaginations and you are applying it and you are taking an action right so similarly the models are already available right free models are also available paid models also available if you take gemini model chat gpt model or like the open ai model all paid one you can use it and build a product for example you build a resume analyzer right so what all you have to do is just you just set a context that's it and build a front end with that and chat gpt the open ai gpt model will take care of analyzing the resume what the user gives as an input the document and then it suggests it optimize the resume that's it you are not going to write a code you just going to build a product consider as a wrapper on top of uh, the thing see let me show you some of the products which has already been there in the market you know let me show it see these are some of the products which is already available and built on top of this gpt model gpt is open ai's model right see these many companies have already started and they are running successfully it's like a wrapper that built on top of gpt right so to do that you need to know minimum level of knowledge in coding okay and github so you need to know github because github is like a social media for coding right repository for coding where people used to upload their code save their code share it with the teams and you can just um integrate with that ide is like the working platform and then you can use it because most of the ai codes are being stored in the repository and you need to know how to access it right so you need to know git git up and then basic apis see uh, understand how to use ai tools via api is very important see imagine see when i say this model right see the open ai has gpt model and gemini has gemini's model right see uh, if you take chat gpt is a product by open ai okay so chat gpt is a product by open ai so open ai as a company they have a model called gpt and on top of the model they built a product called chat gpt chat gpt is not a model chat gpt is just a chatbot product by open ai built on top of the model gpt they have a brain gpt and they are giving that brain for the user as i told you you can build a resume analyzer with the gpt but you have to connect it via a key called api key they will share you a api key for that you have to pay and just that api is something that you have to connect via python code or some code you can write and you can connect via api an application program interface i already explained some of some demo with the practical videos or available in my channel you can have a look how this point has been happen so any ai tool you have to connect you need a api key okay and its connection is possible via an api this is what people used to call and some apis are free and some apis you have to pay for them right stage 3 dive into gen ai concept so this is just for conceptual you need to know what is llm right and what are all the llms are available like gpt brett and learn the concepts tokens parameters training inference and we do have some such terminologies i will make a separate video and you can find the video by the time in the youtube channel in my channel i have made lot of videos about the terminologies used in uh, generative ai so one such famous terminology is tokens token means like if i ask how are you to chat gpt how are you three tokens and the reply what the gpt gives to me chat gpt and the each word will be considered as a token based on the token only you will be paying for the model when you use it for developing a product okay so if you just 
try to learn token outside the world of generative ai i mean to say the same concept called token available in artificial intelligence under machine learning and deep learning but if you read token there it's like a huge topic you will get confused a lot but the perspective of understanding of token in generative ai is very precise that's what i explained you so that's what i said the base what you need to learn for getting into generative ai is already available within the generative ai context itself right so right and then embeddings these all again core concepts conceptually you need to know transformers again conceptually you, you need to know no nothing practical stage four hands-on with gen ai tools open ai and gemini api so you make use of their apis and then you can generate text build chatbots summary summarizers q and a systems and you can build products right and use streamlit for building an ui or even you can use nodes node.js or javascript and langchain is a framework which generally people use such a framework to develop their artificial intelligence generative AI applications okay imagine that uh, framework for example framework to connect gen AI models with the tools like memory search and database even without this lang chain you can still do it but when you use lang chain you can make use of memory search and database memory means you are giving a memory for uh, uh, your model your, your product with the model imagine that you and your friend are discussing something for one hour and suddenly one of your, your third friend is entering into the conversation and he will not understand what you guys are talking for the last one hour right because he doesn't know what it is because he doesn't have that memory information right similarly if you are just uh, continually communicating with the chat gpt for the whole day yesterday you communicated and the next day you're coming back and you are asking chat gpt do you remember what we discussed yesterday and chat gpt say no means again you will think like oh my god again i have to uh, explain everything from the first right so that means chat gpt has a memory paid versions will have a lot of memory right so that means you are building a memory in the product you can build some ai products even without memory some chatbots if you see if you go for any of the uh, products like book my show or like red bus they do have a bot but without memory okay but you can create with memory without memory when with you create product with memory then you have to pay a lot and you can get that as a subscription free from your user also stage five real world use cases try to see like understand how gen ai is used in the industry currently like resume builder with the gen ai a powered study notes pdf qa chatbot sql query generator image to text converter you know the sql query generator like i built a product for my company i just gave this for my company for my in-house right uh, so when people just do a normal text prompt okay uh, internally that will be converted as a sql query and that sql query will be get executed also talk to db is a product that i have built the video is also available in my channel you can have a look so generally you can build a product for uh, in, in in two cases like either you can build for the customers or you can build for in-house imagine you work for a company called xyz and your xyz has a product and that product is a e-commerce website you can build an ai for the e-commerce and you can give that for the consumers or you can create some ai products for your internal team your in-house within your company you can do one such i created for my in-house is the stock to db okay so people in my team people can use without even knowing sql they can just query the database with a normal english prompt right so like that i built with the help of gpt model only i did it okay and i did it in three hours you know and you can find the end to end with ui building and everything i did it in three hours so you can find the video i made a video with 35 minutes of explaining how i did that product state six advanced topics and this are this is very important so you should need to know what is agent and agent tki i'll just I'll, these are some of the recent terms which might have been very familiar in the market and you would have hear it recently right so what is agent imagine you go to chat gpt and you ask for chat gpt or like any models you use you just go to the models and just say hey uh, uh, just book me a hotel and the agent goes to uh, make my trip and uh, it books uh, it tries to book a room and if the rooms are filled and then it does nothing that's it that's what agent does agent tries to do the task that's it it, it is not going to think like a human now imagine i just want my agent to think like a human okay if the room is not there try to book another room right another hotel nearby so if what if you are a human when you try to book a room and there is no room in the preferred hotel then what you will do you will check for an alternative right but agent will not do it but agentic ai will do that that's the difference between agent and agentic ai agentic ai will think like a human it take decision it make it has a memory it takes the decisions like the human and not just execute the task blindly right so agent is the, the the old one agentic ai is a new thing that people are doing it it, it almost replace a person a human 
okay fine and then rag retrieval argument generated combines external data with llm imagine that you use llm product like gpt chat gpt and you upload your uh, blood test report and you are asking like what has happened from the report that means you are giving data externally you are uploading some external data to it and that is what called rag okay and mcp is a protocol similar to http and ssh and people so you connect one ai tool with another ai tool you need this mcp protocol nowadays and people are started building this mcp for their products okay and i cannot complete this mcp in one single video but then like you should explore a lot about mcp because people started using mcp even in my channel you can find a video if not i will soon upload it right and then build a portfolio projects build some chatbot or ai assistant for student voice based q and a app code explanation tool or even you can get ideas from chat gpt or gemini just ask for like i need uh, some ideas to build a product and i have written a book 25 gen a projects it's a book which i have written with implementation code and everything is there and you can find the book in the description box of this video all my books are just cost like 10 rupees in inr i'm saying just 10 rupees which all all my books are less than a dollar right so an inr it's like 10 rupees 20 rupees you can have a look and if you are interested you can buy it and who in it can learn this generative ai okay so software developers data engineers data analysts q a engineers devops technical writers product managers ui ux designer support engineer cloud engineer students freshers and it so imagine that if i have missed any of the roles just just if you are part of the role just go to chat gpt specify that role and ask chat gpt how can i use gen in my role right see that this is what i was coming to say you have to fill the gap right so when your you, your colleague doesn't know how to use gpt or means the large language model to increase the productivity and when you know it then you are filling the gap right and you are like you are you, you are like a spotlighter for your team right so th that's that's a part that you have to concentrate how you will use we call it as a vibe coding right imagine i got a requirement and then i'm just going to chat gpt and i'm asking for the code and i'm getting some issues and then i'm fixing it again i'm asking chat gpt to fix it it is fixing it this end-to-end -end process i'm doing with chat gpt it's called vibe coding and nowadays when there is an issue comes people are not going to stack overflow you know last year stack overflow says like our entire uh, search and uh, users got reduced drastically even google Google search uh, reported this. People are not going for Google or Stack Overflow at all. People are started using ChatGPT and Gemini, right? When someone is still using Stack Overflow, not ChatGPT, and they are like not up to date, they are considered to be an outdated, and their productivity is gone, right? So I can still feel the huge difference before and all before this chat GPT thing when I started using the stack overflow stuff it took even half a day to fix it, but now it's like matter of minutes I was able to fix the issues. So make use of it. Try to see how you can enhance your productivity or how you can use this chat GPT or Gemini kind of tools or its model in your current uh, tech stack and what you can do. Because see, being a data engineer, I built the talk to DB to my company, right? I built a product. Now I just showed, I, I had just been considered to be an okay outstanding employee. He did something on the AI and each of this company, right? Companies, generally, you know, companies, they have started setting a goal for the employees and the team. You have to show them at least 10 to 15 percentage of AI ac accomplishment in the upcoming year. That's part of your goal, your performance review. People have started doing it. So you have to make sure something you showed uh, with respect to AI. At least with that, you can learn something, right? You can enter into this generative AI stuff. All right. So this is what this is what I was talking about. Gap. Fill the gap. Right. And, and also, like, I want to talk about this. And people, when people used to say, like, people started complaining about, uh, uh, Gautam, you are asking me to use all these tools. But when I say, all, when I see all these tools are like paid ones, right? How can I just use it for free? See, paid tools or something. See, companies have started buying AI tools, licensed version. They started giving you models. Even most of the companies nowadays, they are giving Gemini models if they use Google Cloud and even chat GPT models. They bought a license to models. Now, model is there in the company. Now, employees have to get the specific roles and access and make use of the model build the product for your company right so from the company perspective if you see they are <coughs> they are pay paying for the license for the ai tool or the models don't worry so that means when, when i recently had a conversation with one of my friend he said like uh, i'm i'm trying to use pika labs but pika lab is very costly I'm, I'm i'm not ready to practice in such website so don't think in the perspective of an individual imagine if tomorrow your company buys the license of pika labs and you are part of editing company you are part of like media company and tomorrow your company is bought the license for the pika labs and by the time you go and say no i have never used this pika lab and then your company will say, okay, someone else is raising a hand. Okay, I already worked in P-Collapse. Then he will get the opportunity. 
right so don't think from this uh, individual perspective there are free credits with that just try to learn daily take one tool and just try to see what it is and just make a note of it write a blog of it and keep it with you right so go and explore okay so that is what i wanted to say right so that's all with respect to this video i have given end to end uh, roadmap for you and uh, the next video as i told you this is very important just get into this link is also there in the description box of this video please do watch this next video in this video only i'm going to explain how you can safeguard your job uh, with respect to the ai part right thanks for watching and if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues and my linkedin youtube and uh, instagram urls are there in the description box of this video and my book you are also also there and if you are interested you can follow me and you can buy my book thanks for watching guys